Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead and another What We Eat for Dinner in a Week. In these videos, I show you how I combine inexpensive Aldi groceries with food that we are blessed with from the food pantry to make hopefully well-balanced, well-rounded meals. As a family, we generally eat low carb because my husband and I do for health reasons and as the sole cook in the house, it is easier for me to just make one meal than to try to be a short order cook. But you'll see variations to that and I will explain as we go. Tonight is not actually Monday night. I did not film last night. It was a the a Monday of Mondays, you know what I mean? And so I just did not feel up to filming dinner and it wasn't anything special. I took the leftover grilled chicken legs that we had and I cut those up and rewarmed them, seasoned them up, and then we had big salads with it. So lettuce, chicken, and all the toppings. Um, so nothing grand or special, something that we have had a lot of times on these videos in the past. Um, but like I said, it was just, it was such a Monday. Just all the kids were, we struggled to pay attention during school. The things that could go wrong did go wrong. You know, just kind of one of those days. So uh, today is a Tuesday. Uh, my husband had, I guess uh, we'll call it a short run. Um, so it's when he only has to drive one state over and then come right back. And then he'll get a little bit of a, we call him a layover, a little bit of a break before he is due out again. And when that happens, his company allows them to take kids, their kids in the truck with them. Um, and since now, uh, sorry, so um, they have an age limit on how old they have to be. They have to sign some paperwork and that kind of thing, just showing, hey, you know, you're responsible for your kid, whatnot. Um, and I actually have a higher age limit that I'm willing to send my kids because I'm a stickler for car seat safety and being the safest that we can. So, um, so far, my oldest two kids, so the 14-year-old and the 11-year-old have went each a couple of times. So... He um, actually is doing an overnight. So they drove this evening to go somewhere. They're parking for the night. They'll sleep in the truck. And then tomorrow um, they'll pick up their load and then turn around and come right back home. So she actually gets to sleep in the truck tonight. So my, whole, my husband and my oldest daughter are gone for the night. And so we were trying to come up with something fun to do for dinner tonight with the kiddos that were here, especially since the other one that has been allowed to go before was really bummed that he didn't get to go. Um, with my husband's new schedule change and the change on how he does work, it's going to happen less often than usual. So it's, yeah, they understand that this is um, a, a few and far between type of situation. Anyway, uh, so... Tonight, I decided we went to the grocery store today and I decided to make these brats because that sounded good. So we're doing, this was the two packages of brats from Aldi. I did those in the air fryer, 375 for about 12 to 15 minutes. If they are straight out of the refrigerator, that's long enough. If they're still slightly frozen, because a lot of times I'll freeze ours, uh, it would take a little bit longer than that, but that worked out great. I did coleslaw, and I mostly did this because I realized I have two open containers of Miracle Whip in the refrigerator. Um, oops, that happens every once in a while, you know, mom brain. So I just did about half of a head of cabbage and a couple of carrots and coleslaw or and mayo and called it good. Uh, and then we had a bag of the potato wedges from the mobile food pantry. And I forgot to tell you, I had a friend of mine that also went to the same mobile food pantry and gave us theirs. Um, of the potatoes. So we actually have six bags of these, which my kids are totally fine with because these have been good. Uh, we did figure out they are not seasoned, so I just sprinkled seasoned salt on them. And I baked these this time. I did 450 for about a half an hour, maybe a little bit less than that, probably closer to 20 minutes. Um, and they got how I like them, which is browned and um, crispy. Yeah. So I will definitely be eating a few of those, even though they're not low carb. I can get away with it. My body doesn't like revolt hugely. Um, but I will not do the coleslaw um, because I'm still avoiding raw vegetables. They're still just not, I can do some, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to want more than some, uh, but I will do some sauerkraut instead because brats and sauerkraut and Dijon, Dijon mustard sound amazing. So that is Monday and Tuesday nights. We'll see you. Oh, 
The other fun thing that we're going to do tonight is I'm going to let the kids eat in the living room picnic style and we're going to watch a Christmas movie because my husband refuses to watch Christmas movies until after Thanksgiving. He's like, no Christmas music, no Christmas movies. So uh, when he's not home, we watch Christmas movies without him. So uh, we're going to watch, I think they picked the Polar Express. So we'll see. All right. So that is Monday and Tuesday night's dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Wednesday night. Uh, and update on my daughter going with my husband for a little trip. They're still not back. Uh, they knew that they were potentially going to be somewhat late this evening. They figured around dinner time, but they got held up at one, uh, at their stop because that always happens. And so they're, it's looking like they're not going to be back until after midnight. Woo. Uh, it happens. Good thing about homeschooling is, you know, the kiddos can take off with daddy and have an adventure. So, tonight I was going to make one thing, but I decided to flip-flop it because there's a really good chance my husband will be home for dinner tomorrow night. So, um, tonight I made breakfast for dinner because it's not one that he really eh, wants to eat either. Um, so, we have, this is plates for 11-year-old, 8-year-old, 6-year-old, and 3-year-old. Um, and there is, okay, we'll, we'll explain what's on there first. Uh, I cooked sausage patties. This is the, the ground beef or the ground patty, the ground sausage mix from Aldi. Let's spit that out. In that same pan, I cooked some of our eggs. Then I made a quick fruit salad. Well, me and the six-year-old made a quick fruit salad. And then these are the cinnamon raisin uh, rolls that we picked up from the food pantry today. And then I just made a quick um, cream cheese frosting to go on top. So, uh, there is one more roll left that I left out and I cut it into four pieces. Some of the icing left. So if anybody wants seconds of that, they can, uh, there's some fruit salad left, there's sausage patties left and there's some eggs left. So if anybody wants to come in and get seconds, they can, um, then for me for dinner, sorry, I was dealing with, there was a toddler that just fell next to me. I wanted to make sure she was okay. Um, we, for, for me tonight, I have no idea. I do not want breakfast for dinner. I have not had breakfast, like an actual, like egg breakfast for, I don't know how long, um, because I've been fasting most mornings and it, when I don't fast, I don't eat breakfast still. I'll eat like chicken or meatloaf or something like that. Um, so I really don't want breakfast right now. Uh, I am kind of tempted to say I will probably make a couple of cheeseburger patties and some zucchini fries, um, or something along those lines. We'll see. Um, I have been, my goal is to drink a quart of meat stock every day. So I'm doing good on today's. Um, and I don't mind it. Like I, I, uh, now I've also had help the last two days with, uh, my six and three year old have been enjoying it as well. So if I leave my warm jar of broth out, do they come out and come in and sneak broth drinks too? So that is helping keep me satiated between meals too. I didn't snack today because I hadn't drank broth. So, all right, that is Wednesday night. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Thursday night. Uh, we spent a large quantity of the day outside working garden work today, getting the kitchen garden ready for winter, um, like a long time today, probably five hours or so. So uh, we are all tired and worn out. Uh, so I wanted something quick and easy tonight. I already had burgers and hot dogs planned. Um, so those were pretty easy just cook the burgers under the broiler, warm the hot dogs in a pan. So easy. Um, with that, I did the two boxes of mac and cheese from the food pantry this week. Um, and then I added some more cabbage and mayo to the little bit of leftover um, coleslaw. Here, I guess I could show you. Coleslaw to make enough for dinner tonight. Um, I might end up, because I can't do that, and I probably won't do the coleslaw either, I might end up throwing a zucchini in the air fryer and making some zucchini fries for me, because that sounds good. Um, but this made for just kind of a nice, easy, uh, I am tired, <laughs> uh, gonna be sore tomorrow dinner for tonight. So, that is Thursday night. We'll see you tomorrow.
It is Friday night, and Friday night at our house means pizza night. Sometimes that is store-bought, sometimes it's homemade. It is pretty much never takeout because we live too far out in the country for takeout to be delivered to us. And I can make a whole lot of pizzas for a whole lot less from scratch or even like store-bought frozen pizzas. So we just don't do it. Um, so tonight I took two of those gluten-free pizza crusts from the food pantry earlier this week. And I did one. We had sausage patty left over. Uh, from breakfast for dinner. So I chopped that up and then did pepperoni. This one is I made myself meat stock um, earlier this week. No, last week. And I had chicken left over from it. So I uh, cut it up and then did barbecue sauce for a barbecue chicken pizza. With that, I had actually intended on making the wings a different night, and it didn't happen, so um, they were thawed out and ready to go. So I decided to go ahead and do those tonight so that I have something to eat instead of eating pizza or making myself pizza. Um, and then the kids will also eat some of those as well, obviously. And then a side dish, we have a quart of homegrown uh, green beans and then a can of store-bought green beans I'm finding that makes like the perfect amount of green beans when I air fry them because when I air fry them they shrink down quite a bit and so we go through a little bit more than if I just cook them in the pan um so yeah that's that um oh that's the uh wing tips that I am making meat stock out of as well I've been doing pretty good about drinking my meat stock every day I've kind of gotten in the habit of uh drinking a cup with lunch and then the rest while I'm making dinner. So that works for me. Uh, tonight is also the one night a week that we do dessert. I will, my usual is I pull out any dessert things that we have, any cookies, ice cream, anything like that that we have. I might end up doing root beer floats tonight because we got the Zevia root beer and I know we've got vanilla ice cream in the freezer. So I think we might do that. I have kind of gotten into the habit of making that Russian custard for myself. It is an egg yolk, and then I add in some heavy whipping cream, vanilla extract, and a little bit of honey. I go really easy on the honey because of blood sugar issues. Um, but then I got those um, keto Reese cup thingies from the food pantry the other day. And so I made some tonight and cut up one of those and added to it. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, and that gets me, if you've ever looked into the GAPS diet, um, two of the major healing things that they use are, well, three of the major healing things that they use are meat stocks, um, raw egg yolks, and probiotic foods. And so I'm trying really hard to get those three things in every day. Um, I'm not noticing any major differences yet, but just avoiding the foods that make my tummy hurt. And which at this point is pretty much nuts and heavy seasonings. And that's it that I have found at least. Um, so easy to avoid. Not that big of a deal. Although almond flour used to make up a fair bit of my baked goods things, but I just don't eat them. So not a big deal. Um, but still hoping to heal whatever. I really think it's just damage to my, to my stomach lining or not my stomach lining, my intestinal lining from having the stomach issues that I've had for as long as I have. If that makes sense. I don't want to go into too, too much detail because I'm showing you food and it's kind of gross. So anyway, uh, yeah, that is a kind of long-winded Friday night dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. It is Saturday night, and Saturday night I always make a big meal so that we have leftovers. Uh, so tonight I did three pounds of meat. It was one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground turkey, and one pound of ground deer meat. I mixed those together with some crushed up pork rinds, some minced onion. I'm trying to think what else I put in there. I don't even remember now. A couple of eggs. And baked those into a couple of meatloaves. Um, on top, I just did Sir Kensington's ketchup. Those little packets that we have, we're still working through those. And probably will be for the next few years. Uh, I mixed up some of that with a little bit of brown sugar 
to make it a sweeter um, ketchup because the certain Kensington's is not, it very much reminds me of like a chili powder flavor. Um, so I just pull, put that on the top. With that, we have the thing of um, Bob Evans brand, I think is what it was, mashed potatoes. Uh, these were really runny. So I ended up adding a couple tablespoons or so of uh, instant mashed potatoes to them to kind of thicken it up a little bit. And then I added a little, a couple pats of butter in there as well. Uh, I went ahead and pulled out the green beans that we had left over from last night because I won't eat the mashed potatoes and I'll be not eating a whole lot of the carrots either. So I needed a low carb vegetable and that sounded good. Then I did some steamed carrots and um, just did some butter on those. And I had some bananas that were going bad, so I went ahead and made a double batch of banana nut, banana nut chocolate chip bread. And I did, ended up with three dozen muffins and then a small loaf of bread. So I figured we would do the bread uh, for the kiddos for dinner tonight. So... The reason why I make a big meal on Saturday is because I do not cook on Sunday. So this will be the end of our week of meals. On Sunday, when we get home from church, I pull out all of the leftovers from the week and I let the kids pick and choose whatever they want. We make plates and warm them up in the microwave and call it good. It's a great way of getting leftovers used and um, gives me a day of not having to cook. Then for dinner tomorrow night, I pull out charcuterie board things. So meats, cheeses, cured meats, dried fruits, um, crackers, pickles, anything like that that you would normally see on a charcuterie board. Uh, I pull it out and we do what we call snacky dinner. And on that night, I even bust out paper plates. And it just makes for a day of rest. You know, we try to honor the Sabbath in that. Um, and it gives me a day off from cooking. I don't cook. I don't clean. I don't do dishes. I don't do laundry. I do all of that on Saturday. Today, I'm exhausted. Um, so that I don't have to do anything on Sunday. We can take the day off and spend it together as a family with our church family and with our family family and just enjoy the day. So, all right. That is everything. I will try to remember to post any relevant recipes in the show notes, although I can think of none off the top of my head, but maybe there's some and I just forgot. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.